Hey guys, what's up? Light here with another tutorial, and this one was across was requested ugh, by my friend Nick. Um, got a little bit tongue tied there, but this tutorial is on how to use the Dolphin emulator, and uh, well, basically download, get the games, and basically how to configure everything. So basically, the Dolphin emulator is a GameCube and Nintendo Wii emulator. So that's pretty good. Although, the f although it comes with a warning, uh, it has high CPU uses uh, usage percentages, and uh, the r the ISOs or the ROMs themselves are pretty big. So you best have a pretty good hard drive before you download any of this. Um, so basically, the I have provided a dolphin RAR for you guys, so if you um, make, just make a quick force shared account or I might share a Dropbox link, probably a Dropbox, but just so you know, I'll um, share a force shared link. Well, no, I'll share the dolphin RAR. Okay, the next one is to get the ROMs themselves. You can go to coolrom.com slash roms slash GCN. It's pretty available to, it's pretty easy to find. And these are perhaps the most downloaded ones right here, because of course they're the most downloaded ones. Um, so basically after you download one, I deleted mine because they're taking up too much space. Um, you basically want to download the dolphin emulator and extract it somewhere. I extracted the sample one here into my documents. So basically, you would double click on Dolphin to start it, and uh, whilst it shows like a good list here, um, yeah, I really can't do anything here. Um, so while it shows a list here, um, you would have to extract the ISOs that they, as they come in from the RARs, but uh, I might provide the compressed ISOs here for pretty good space because the blue means compressed, and, and, and to be honest, the compressed looks pretty good in gigabyte size. It's, it's only like one gigabyte per ROM, so 10 gigabytes for 10 ROMs. I don't think that's pretty bad, but for you com computer users out there, just like think about it for a bit. Ahem. Now, after you just simply open it up, you go to options, then you go to GameCube Pad settings to edit your controls. Simple as that. You can also go to uh, configure and this configures like everything about it. So if you want to, oh yeah, for the GameCube, make sure you have like slot A to memory card or slot B to mem memory card because that is how you have to save your games, of course. Just to let you know, and for a quick heads up. Now, okay, that's the same thing though, but anyway, this thing also has a little option called Netplay, and Netplay allows perhaps one of the most awesome things. So basically, you can host games, you can uh, join um, other things. I would recommend Hamachi for this. I would recommend Hamachi because it puts everyone onto the same network, and I think that's probably how it's going to be run. So if you guys want to do multiplayer stuff out there, go for it. Um, now let's see what else there is. Cheats manager is cheat manager, of course. These like import saves, but it might be glitchy. Be warned. Be warned. And I guess that's pretty much it for this quick little for this quick little tutorial. I'll post a text. I'll make sure I'll put like a text tutorial in the description below. Download links to everything, as well as well, perhaps something from here. I don't know. Well. well perhaps all these games anyway so thank you guys for watching and i will see you all next time